Top story tonight, balancing the needs of a growing population with protecting the natural resources that surround it. The city of Dripping Springs just got the OK from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to dump more than 800,000 gallons of treated wastewater into Onion Creek every day. KXAN's Gary Cooper looks at the difference between what they're allowed and what they'll actually do, as well as any lasting impacts to the Edwards Aquifer below. The waters of Onion Creek are as clear as glass, and the Greater Edwards Aquifer Alliance wants to keep it that way. We're kind of putting in peril the whole hill country. The city of Dripping Springs applied for and got that state permit to discharge wastewater into the creek. But a city councilman for Dripping says just because the city can does not mean it will. Well, we don't see it as having to put anything in Onion Creek, and we never have. When you have a discharge permit, it's much easier to do what's called beneficial reuse. And that's what we've said all along, that that's what we wanted to do. That reuse would water things like city parks, golf courses, and road medians, complicating things other cities in the Hill Country might follow suit. Blanco, Texas has applied for similar permits. Wimberley is looking to expand its wastewater options as well. The thing is, dumping treated wastewater in streams and rivers in Texas is allowed by law. But when it's done over the Edwards Aquifer, the Aquifer Alliance says it could be risky. The nitrates and the phosphorus, which are uh, allowable under the state permitting process, but they uh, contribute to eutrophication, which is algae blooms. Unmetabolized drugs or personal care products, things that would be in the wastewater stream, and they would only be found in the wastewater stream. They are not. And the impact goes beyond the immediate area. The Aquifer Alliance says science has proven when things are dumped into the Blanco River, for instance, they could end up in Barton Springs and maybe even into our drinking water. We want to do it right. We're hoping what we have done has set up a way to move forward for other cities so they can see it is possible to do this without damaging the environment. With any luck, this water bottle is the dirtiest these streams and rivers will be. In the last legislative session, there were three bills designed to protect watersheds and rivers and streams in the Hill Country. All three of those bills died. This legislative session, the Alliance tells me there's only one bill designed to protect one river, and that's the Nueces River in South Texas. In Dripping Springs, Gary Cooper, KXAN News. The city of Austin has two major wastewater treatment plants, Walnut Creek and South Austin Regional. Austin Water says both plants get wastewater from the sanitary sewer system and treat it. Then they release it into the Colorado River. Sludge from the treatment process is used to create compost for land. 